Hello my viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Mr. Banda, Mathematics Made Easy. So in today's lesson, we are looking at geometric progression, another interesting concept in math. Uh, this is coming from Mathematics Syllabus D, Examination Council of Zambia Syllabus. Uh, the question is from 2016, paper two. Question 5, uh, question 5b is saying the first three terms of a geometric progression are x plus 1, x minus 3, and x minus 1. How do we find the value of x? And how do we find the first term in this case? And how do we find the sum to infinity when we are given a geometric progression or the first three terms of a geometric progression? Now, let us acknowledge the fact that the, the, the a sequence of consecutive terms is called a geometric progression only if there is uh, this property in them. So we are saying that A, B, and C going on and on. This will be called a geometric progression if and uh, only if there exists an error, okay, the common ratio error, such that uh, this error is equal to B over A, which will be the same as C over B. So we are saying that you must have a common ratio called error, such that when you divide the second term by the first term, you will get the same value which is called the common ratio as you get when you divide c by b that's the third term by the second term you must get the same value uh, which is called r the common the common ratio so this is the property we are going to use to solve for x here okay because you can see that uh, these given uh, three terms first three terms have x in them so for us to get the value of x, we use that property there because we are told that this is the geometric progression or these are the first three terms of a geometric progression. Okay, so that's what we are going to do. So in that case, our a, which is the first term, is x plus 1 and the second term is x minus 3 and the third term is x minus 1. These are the terms of this geometric progression. So if this is a geometric progression, then x minus 3, which is the second term, divided by the first term, which is x plus 1, we expect to get an equal answer as you get when you divide x minus 1, the third term, divided by the second term, which is x uh, minus 3. So we are answering the first part of the question where well, we have to find the value of x. So here you cross multiply, you will have x minus 3 times x minus 3 being equal to x plus 1 times x minus 1. So you multiply x times x, you will get x squared. Then x times negative 3, you get negative 3x. Negative 3 times x, you get negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 3, you get positive 9. Being equal to x times x, you get x squared uh, minus 1. Why I've done so here? It's because you know that when you factorize the difference of perfect uh, squares, or the difference of squares, you get uh, this. So it means that this is x squared minus 1. Or you can do the normal expansion as we have done here you arrive at this answer so here you group like terms x squared minus x squared it was positive so it will be negative uh, or when you add additive inverse of positive x squared both sides which is negative x squared you have this then negative 3x minus 3x you get negative 6x plus 9 this was a negative 1 it will be positive 1 being equal to 0 so x squared minus x squared, you definitely get a, a zero. So you have, you remain with negative 6x because this is zero. 
uh, plus 9 plus 1, you get 10, giving you 0. Then you have negative x, 6x being equal to negative 10. You divide by negative 6 and negative 6 both sides. Then x will be, that will be positive, 10 over 6, which can be reduced to 5 over 3 by dividing by 2. Uh, 10 by 2 and 6 by 2, this will be 5 over 3. So that is the value of x, which can further be simplified or written in a mixed fraction form as 1, 3 into 5 is 1, the remainder is 2, over a 3. So that's what x is. So you indicate, therefore, x is 1, 2, over 3, or 5 over 3, yeah, as an improper fraction. So that's what you're supposed to do to get uh, the value of x. Now let us get the first term, provided that you have solved for x, uh, which is 1, whole number, 2 over 3 as a fraction. So let us now answer the second part of the question. So we are saying that uh, x is 5 over 3, or 1, uh, 2 over 3. So we want to use that value of x to get the first term. Now, in this particular question, which is saying, let's get the first term, we know that the first term is this one, because we are told that uh, the first three terms of a geometric progression, the first three are x plus 1, x minus 3, and x minus 1. So the first term will be x plus 1. But now, because you have gotten or solved for the value of x, you can get the actual value of the first term by substituting uh, 5 over 3 for x in the first term here. So we know that the first term is x plus 1, where we know what x is now, where x is 5 over 3, or 1, 2 over 3. So where there is x here, you put 5 over 3 plus 1, the plus 1 which we have here. Then solving this will give you 3 is common, 3 into 3 is 1 times 5, 5, plus 1 into 3 is 3 times 1, 3, then this will be 8 over 3. Then you say, therefore, the first term is 8 over 3, or 3 into 8 is 2, the remainder is 2 over 3. You can write it as a mixed fraction like that, or just 8 over 3. So this is the first term, and this is how we get the first term uh, when this particular question is asked. Uh, let's look at the third part of the question, which is requiring us to get the sum to infinity. So how do we get the sum to infinity? So let's not forget our first term. So for two, we are saying that our a, which is the first term, is 8 over 3. We want to use that. So the third part, we want to get the sum to infinity, which is denoted by S infinity, like that. And this can be obtained by this formula, the sum to infinity is A, which is the first term, over 1 minus R, where R is the common ratio and A is the first term. So we need to get uh, the first term we have gotten, it's 8 over 3. We need to solve for R now, the common ratio. We can only get the common ratio if we know the second term and the first term. The first term we know, so let us get the second term. So A2, I'll call it second term. Or let us use the mathematical uh, symbols for this. Uh, term number 2 is equal to x minus 3. This is the second term which we are given. But what is x? x is 5 over 3. So we are saying 5 
over 3 minus 3. Then you divide 3 into 3 is 1. 1 times 5, 5 minus 1 into 3 is 3. 3 times 3, 9. And 5 minus 9 is negative 4 over 3. So term number 2, this term here is negative 4 over 3. Then what is R? So we are saying that the common ratio R. So R is equal to term number 2 divided by term number 1, which will be negative 4 over 3 divided by the first term is 8 over 3. 8 over 3. This is going to be equal to negative 4 over 3 times 3 over 8. When you reciprocate uh, the 3 and the 3 there, you can divide. Then 4 into 4, 1, and 4 into 8 is 2. So this will be negative 1 over 2. So R is negative 1 over 2. A, we have it there, meaning that the sum to infinity is going to be equal to A, which is 8 over 3, divided by 1 minus R, which is our common ratio, is negative 1 over 2. So, sum to infinity in this case is going to be equal to 8 over 3. This uh, fraction means division, so divided by 1 in brackets, minus negative 1 over 2. You can do this. So the sum to infinity is going to be equal to 8 over 3 times, let us see what we get when you add a 1 and a negative 1 over 2. So 1 minus negative, it will be positive. So 1 plus half is 1.5 or 1 and half. And this will be 1, 1 over 2. Okay. Uh, this is going to give us, uh, what will that going to give us? So, our sum to infinity is going to give us, uh, that will be 8 over 3 times, this is the same as 3 over 2. So let us multiply uh, 8 over 3, uh, sorry, this is supposed to be division. So this is supposed to be division. We are dividing here uh, by that. So you have 8 over 3 divided by this as a, an improper fraction. It will give you 3 over 2. Then you are multiplying. Now we reciprocate. We we'll have 8 over 3 okay, times 2 over 3. What is that going to give us? What will this going to give us? So, this is going to give us 8 times 2, that is uh, 16 over 9. 16 over 9, as an improper fraction, is uh, 1, remainder is 7 over 9. So, that's the sum to infinity. So, the sum to infinity.